let's explore the circulation sex meridian, which is also known as pericardium in acupuncture. Now it's a really important meridian for functional kinesiology because it is one of the pillars of the triangle of hormonal health, which is at the core of our training. So what's interesting about the circulation sex meridian is like triple warmer, it's not an organ and it's, it's an expression in the body and it's actually responsible for regulating the circulation of the blood and also transporting hormones around the body. It is linked emotionally with the feelings of love and sex, so it's to do with our sex drive and our sex life. So let's have a look at the muscles that are associated with the circulation sex meridian. And these are the muscles in the pelvis, um, the hips, the buttocks and the legs. So they include gluteus medius, which is at the top of the bum, gluteus maximus, which is your big bum muscle, the piriformis that actually uh, runs next to the sciatic nerve. So an imbalance of the piriformis can often uh, result in things like sciatica. And the piriformis, because it's got that connection next to the sciatic nerve, that sciatic nerve runs all the way up through to the body and connects in with the trigeminal nerve, which is to do with the jaw and the TMJ, which is a big part of our work again. Um, so when we look at structural balances for the piriformis, we, we are looking at the TMJ. Um, Adductors are in the inner thighs. So all of this stability around the pelvis, if you think about the muscles in kinesiology that are associated with circulation sex, are all about giving stability to the pelvis, which is where the, um, the sex organs are, are housed, so to speak. So common imbalances in the circulation sex meridian tend to be hormone imbalances. So we're looking at period issues, infertility, menopause difficulty. And like I said, there's also this structural connection between when the, when these, um, when the circulation sex meridian is imbalanced, then we can see that the muscles around the hips can also cause quite a few structural issues. So hip imbalances can also be uh, uh, to do with the circulation sex hormone imbalance. It's fascinating, isn't it, that hip imbalances can actually be to do with hormones. So how do we as functional kinesiologists balance the circulation sex? Well, we use the Bs, which is the biochemical, emotional, electrical, and structural. And it's it, why we love to work in this way is that no stone is left unturned. So to start with, with biochemical, the big focus with circulation sex is hormone, hormone balancing. And this is, we work with diet plans. We have a number of different hormone diet plans, depending on stage of life, uh, to, to, to rein those hormones in. We also look at lifestyle, um, and supplementation. So the, the, the muscle testing that we will be doing the, for the, the, the supplements that we'll be looking at, adaptogenic herbs, which balance the endocrine system, uh, things like uh, Chester's tree um, is a great adaptogenic herb for hormones, as well as Shatavari for menopause. Um, if there is stress involved with the hormone imbalance, which is absolutely what we we see with the when the triangle is out of balance, then you can also look at some of the adaptogenic herbs like um, olive leaf or ginseng. They can be really great adaptogens to balance the circulation sex. Magnesium is amazing for hormones as well as zinc. So you are looking at your minerals when you have um, a hormone imbalance. And we also work with estrogen balancing and um, attached to our blog, you can see another video on how um, we work with estrogen balancing, the kind of things that make estrogen imbalanced in the body. So, so check out that video. That's also in our YouTube channel. Emotional balancing, the circulation sex meridian belongs to the fire element, which is to do with sadness and joy. Now the circulation sex as a, as a meridian protects the heart from trauma and it protects the heart from uh, emotions such as grief from the metal element or fear and anxiety from the water element. So if you go further into five element, this is where you start to see the relationship between meridians, it's, it's a fascinating rabbit hole to go down. Uh, and so the 
also the emotions, this, this is joy can also be to do with the loving feelings of joy and pleasure to do with sex. So when the circulation sex meridian is out of balance, then we find that a low sex drive or no interest in sex can often be um, one of the consequences. Electrical balancing, the time of day for the circulation sex meridian is seven to nine in the evening. And so this is when we as humans are meant to relax and allow our parasympathetic nervous system to come into action and to function. And sex drive and, and feelings of, of wanting to be involved in sex come from the parasympathetic nervous system. So this is when we see that people who are very sympathetic nervous system uh, and are very stressed tend not to have that balance when it comes to sex drive. Uh, so you can see in our blog, check out that the, um, the, the meridian for the circulation sex runs from, it, we, we remember it, um, a good revision tool, I remember from doing this from my kinesiology exam, is nipple to swivel. So this comes from the nipple, the meridian runs down the inside of the arm to this brilliant, brilliant rude finger. So it's also it's a very easy thing to, to remember is that that is the end of the circulation sex meridian. Um, structural balancing, like I've mentioned, because of this muscle stability around the pelvis, often we see structural imbalances with back pain, hip pain, neck pain, jaw pain. So what we would recommend is looking at strengthening the legs to take the pressure off the glutes. Often the glutes are have too much tension because the legs are, aren't are working as effectively as they can. And this is when it gets really interesting when we start cross-referencing. So we look at the muscles in the legs. Yes, we've got the adductors, which might be imbalanced because of the circulation sex, but we're also looking at the stress muscles such as sartorius or gracilis. And we're looking at the digestive muscles, which is your quadriceps and your fascia lata. So when there is high stress or when the digestion isn't working properly, then the glutes have to work so much harder. And so this then has a knock on effect with hormones and, and, and just understanding this interplay between hormones, stress, digestion. We can really start to see it from a kinesiology perspective in the pelvis, in the legs. It gets really exciting. How does it fit into the triangle of hormonal health? Like I've said, it is a pillar. So we focus on balancing the circulation sex meridian as a priority, as well as bringing it into balance with the triple warmer, which is where the stress is, and the, the spleen meridian, which is where blood sugars are. So we, we absolutely need to be looking at the full picture to bring the body back into balance. So that is the circulation sex meridian.